Welcome back to Gaelic Games Fan TV. This is the instant match reaction. Kilkenny 317, Limerick 115. We will update that score in just a brief moment. A very comprehensive and comfortable result for Kilkenny against the All-Ireland champions and the reigning league champions up until this game. And you have to say, what a result, what a performance, and what a victory for Kilkenny. Uh, it was an interesting game, wasn't it? Because Limerick came flying out of the traps uh, early on. They started very, very well, obviously getting that uh, uh, early goal and two points and, and looked very, very comfortable early on. Um, Limerick coming flying out of the traps, but Kilkenny, in fairness to them, some response straight after that. 3-6 to two points um, they got in response to that um, early, uh, early sort of start from a Limerick perspective and yeah, what a result, what a performance from a Kilkenny perspective. Really, really commanding result. Bit of a statement win as well against the uh, against the All-Ireland champions. Obviously played the majority of the second half with 14 men as well, of course, with Owen Cody getting sent off. So that was most certainly a bit of a um, disappointment from a Kilkenny perspective. But yeah, huge, huge results. Huge win from a Kilkenny perspective. Um, just looking at some of the uh, the the big scores on the day, TJ Reid with a goal and eight points, Luke Hogan getting himself a goal, Owen Cody with a hugely important goal, obviously as well. That goal from TJ Reid, by the way, at the end of the uh, first half, absolutely majestic stuff. He sold he sold Aaron Costello out for points at half time. I mean, that was just absolutely top top class stuff, and um. Yeah, look, it was a little bit unusual, like looking back and, and thinking about this game, like Limerick starting so well, starting so strong, um, getting that early goal, obviously, from Aaron Galan. You were thinking this was this game is only going to go one way. Like Limerick are going to uh, absolutely dominate this game. They're going to dominate Kilkenny. Um, but that wasn't the case. You know, Kilkenny came roaring back into the match. And um, in fairness to Limerick, like definitely, obviously, Sean Finn, freshly back in the side, um, so maybe lacking a, a bit of match fitness. Aaron Costello obviously wouldn't be a regular starter for Limerick come championship time um, in a cornerback. And I just felt Limerick, when they were trying to play that short game and those sort of short hand passes, flicks off the wrist, the, the sort of great intricacy that you normally associate with Limerick over the last couple of years, it just kept breaking down time and time again. And Kilkenny, in fairness to them, kept on turning them over. Owen Cody was absolutely brilliant in the first half, obviously getting a goal, but also playing such a, a big part um, in Kilkenny's overall play. Like he um, played a huge part in the second goal as well, obviously forcing a save from Nicky Quaid, which Luke Hogan then gets on the end of. Um, Keen Kenny was very good. Malloy around midfield was very good. Killian Buckley, Paddy Deegan, David Blanchfield, all solid in the first half, getting them um, a huge amount of turnovers. And Limerick just couldn't really get to grips with the game at all. They couldn't really get to grips with the match at all. Um, and, and Kilkenny just roared into a very comfortable lead. And um, like watching this game, you were thinking, we know Limerick in championship mode here, click into gear at some point. You know, Limerick have been in these moments so many times over the last four or five years. We know that when the going gets tough, that's when Limerick get going usually. You know, we, we saw Limerick in these scenarios before, Owen Cody gets sent off at the start of the second half, and you're thinking, a little bit harsh, um, in my opinion. I thought it was very harsh, obviously, for the foul on Declan Hannon. And you're thinking, right, Limerick are going to kick on here now. This is going to be where they turn this game around. Playing 14 men, um, you were expecting them to kick on, but it just didn't happen. And Limerick were very, very flat in the second half. Very, very flat. Couldn't really seem to get going. Uh, couldn't get their forwards really into the game. Like, aside from Aaron Glan, who scored 1-5 and obviously gets substituted in the final 10 to 12 minutes. Like, their other forwards couldn't really get into it. Uh, Tom Morrissey, two points. Dunnick O'Darling with a point. Grode Hegarty just with a score. Uh, Peter Casey, obviously the same. David Reedy comes on and gets a point. But overall, Limerick's attack was just very lethargic, I felt. Um, and, and, and they just couldn't really get into the game. Um, Keen Lynch, I thought, was fairly quiet as well for the majority of the match. Not, you know, obviously playing a little bit deeper, but not usually, a you know, wasn't a vintage Keen Lynch performance of, you know, of the standards we normally um, put him in, in fairness. 
And yeah, it was um, it was unusual from a Limerick perspective, but at the same time, you would not get carried away with this result from either ends. Do you know what I mean? Because um, we saw Limerick last year in the Munster Championship, you know, lo- lose their way in the early part of the championship ever so slightly. Obviously, kept themselves in it, and then um, once the Munster final came around, that was really when they clicked into gear. So, you know, it's not this. Limerick are still the All Ireland favourites. I'd still be 80, 90% sure they go on and win the All Ireland, in, in all honesty. Um, if anything, this result could actually potentially help them because it now means they have a break before the start of the Munster Championship and they don't go into a league final. Um, which, look, I mean, you want to keep the momentum, you want to keep winning and everything else. And look, Limerick started this game very, very strong. So I think the idea that Limerick didn't, didn't not want to win this game or didn't want to win this game, for me, doesn't make sense because you don't start that strong and play that well in the opening five minutes if you don't want to win this game. Um, obviously, Aaron Glan coming off, you know, does Aaron Glan get substituted there if this is a championship game? Probably not. And um, Does Keane Lynch come off if this is a championship game? Probably not. Maybe Shamey Flanagan starts. Um, maybe substitutions get made earlier. So it's one of them things where Maybe there was a case of John Coyley looking at this, looking at the bigger picture, going into the final 15, 20 minutes and thinking, do you know what? This game is beyond us. Um, Peter Casey obviously gets sent off as well. Um, slap of the hurl. Yeah, like um, unfortunately in today's day of age in, in hurling or whatever, you can't do that nowadays. Um, and to be fair to Paddy Deegan, he gets substituted immediately. So it did look like quite the hit. And um, I think that was a straight red card. And to be fair, to uh, James Owens. I think he did get that decision spot on. Um, But yeah, fair play to Kilkenny. Fair play. Look, they needed this win. They absolutely needed this win, especially after the recent results against Limerick, uh, losing the league final last year, losing back-to-back all Ireland finals. They needed something. And to be fair, they got it in abundance today. TJ Reid, again, you know, you'd start to think this man is Benjamin Button or something because he just... Instead, you know, he's getting older, but he's actually, it's, it looks like he's getting better. I mean, like, to be fair, just selling Aaron Costello, I suppose he takes the gamble, doesn't he? Like, with that uh, ball that's played in, and he sort of gambles that Aaron Costello won't get there. Um, and then he obviously takes it, calm as you like, in front of goal, you know, has about 20 minutes to decide where he wants to put the ball. And then he just slots it comfortably beyond Nicky Quaid. Um, Owen Cody was brilliant. Adrian Mullen was very good. Um, and Kilkenny, like in terms of their start and six forwards, they're a match for anyone uh, in the country. You know, those six starting forwards, in my opinion. Um, obviously, you know, will Luke Hogan be a regular starter in the championship? That remains to be seen. But you have Billy Drennan coming off the bench, which is huge. Richie Reid coming on as well. And Mossy Keown, who I think is a very good player. So, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of positives, most certainly, mm-hmm. from a Kilkenny perspective. And I think, you know, if they can go win the league and obviously follow that up with a Leinster championship. Look, it puts them in a fantastic position to, look, if they're going to win the All-Ireland Kilkenny this year, they're going to have to beat Limerick at some stage. Uh, And this result might just stand to them ever so slightly going into that. It might not because we know how Limerick are um, and we know Limerick have another gear to go up on. And, um, you know, certainly I do think in the final 20 minutes or so, it just especially when Peter Casey got sent off. I just felt like Limerick, like, I, I I don't necessarily believe that as a team, you just decide, right, let's not go for this. Um, but I do think there was a bit of a collective belief amongst the Limerick team that let's, not necessarily let's not go for this, but let's not put our foot on full throttle, do you know, that way. And I think with John Coyley taking players off and everything else, um, you know, he doesn't do that if it's a championship game. He definitely doesn't. So so there we go. Uh, looking at the comments, uh, Macy says here, Jesus didn't expect a result like that. Yeah, nobody did. Nobody certainly did. Um, you know, massive, certainly maybe massive worries for Limerick's defence, you know, to concede three goals like that. They probably could have conceded more as well. There were some big chances in the second half. Owen Wall, could have added a fourth goal, um, you know, and I do think Kilkenny. It was a it was a bit of game management really towards the end, um, just to just to sort of see the game out. They didn't need to go for goals, so they're fairly contempt in uh, keeping the scoreboard ticking. 
and just knocking points over the bar. But um, yeah, some vulnerabilities about Limerick's defence and worries there. But ultimately, Sean Finn straight back in the side. Obviously, Declan Hannon only recently back as well. You have um, Aaron Costello coming in there as well. So, like, ultimately, from from a Limerick perspective, and and even with that goal, like, there was an element maybe of fortune with the goal from Luke Hogan, where Cody's effort is saved, and then Luke Hogan's in the right place at the right time. But at the same time, if Owen Cody puts that either side of the keeper, it's probably back in the net. So, I guess you could say that balances itself out. Um, but ultimately, Kilkenny were by far the better side, the deserved winners. Um, and even going down to 14 men and playing a bulk of that second half with a man less, they were still, um, they still looked very, very comfortable. They really, really did. And um, you were sort of waiting for Limerick to click into gear. And it just never happened. It just never happened. So, look, only time will tell what this result means in the, in the big picture. But most certainly for me, Limerick are still the all autumn favourites. We know they have another gear to go up on. and um, But at the same time, it is a massive win for Kilkenny. It definitely is a massive result for them. Like nine points as well. Like it is a hammering. There's no other way about it. Nine points. Um, yeah, very, very uh, comfortable in fairness. Or eight, eight points, actually, I think it was in the end, wasn't it? Uh, my maths is sometimes not so good. Yeah, cheers to anyone who tuned in. If you can hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, would appreciate it if you could share this out to your friends and family that would be absolutely great as well my name is aaron hit the like button all that good stuff now, i already said that i don't know why i've said it again but uh yeah cheers anyone who tuned in speak to you all soon